SpaceX has just announced how they are preparing right now for crewed Starship missions. I'm Kevin, and this is a breaking episode of SpaceX in the News. During Thursday's Starship presentation, I asked Elon what, if any, progress SpaceX has been making with crewed Starship behind the scenes. He responded with basically none at the moment, but it's something they'll be diving into in the near future once they get cargo Starship to orbit. Kevin Haymeyer from Space Eccentric on YouTube and Rumble. My, thank you. My viewers are really hungry to know anything about the interior design for crewed Starship. Uh, you have HLS, you have Dear Moon, and last we heard, maybe a year or two ago, you were looking to hire Tesla employees to design the interior for Starship. How's that going? Um, well, it, we, we, have, we aren't focusing a lot on the interior quite yet. I mean, that will be important down the road, but uh, our focus right now is just getting to orbit and proving out uh, return of the booster and return of the ship. Now, while some of you may have walked away disheartened or a little sad by the news, you're a little sad, okay? It's important you keep your chins up. Because as it turns out, things are actually being done behind the scenes to prepare SpaceX for crewed Starship missions. Just this morning, I woke up to an email from SpaceX inviting me to take part in a press briefing over the phone with their astronauts concerning something called the Polaris program which now I believe I can honestly compare it to Project Gemini in the 1960s, used to prepare NASA for the Apollo moon landings. And much like Gemini, Polaris is an upcoming series of spaceflight missions to Earth orbit using Crew Dragon, with mission objectives to gather data for future manned starship missions, led by Inspiration4 Commander Jared Isaacman. Polaris Dawn, the first of the missions, will include a number of ambitious objectives that will serve as key building blocks towards the ultimate Polaris program goal, of launching the first flight on SpaceX's Starship with humans on board. Polaris Dawn will launch from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, Florida in the fourth quarter of this year with Jared as commander, his right-hand man and retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Scott as his pilot, and two SpaceX employees, Sarah and Anna, as mission specialists, all of whom work together on Inspiration4. They will ride in Dragon on a Falcon 9 to the highest Earth orbit mankind has ever been to, approximately 500 clicks up for five days, and will conduct the first ever commercial EVA. The key operational objectives we set for this mission include Objective 1, Polaris Dawn will attempt the first ever commercial spacewalk with SpaceX-designed extravehicular activity spacesuits, which are upgrades from the current intravehicular uh, suit. To accomplish this, all four astronauts will wear upgraded IVA suits, with at least one of them utilizing an umbilical line to feed oxygen from the Dragon capsule, much like the Gemini astronauts. The other astronauts who won't be doing the extra vehicular activity will probably just remain connected to their seats, which usually supply SpaceX astronauts with oxygen. There will not be an airlock installed in the capsule. Instead, the entire cabin will be depressurized. The development of this suit and the execution of the EVA will be important steps towards a scalable design for spacesuits for future long-duration missions. These types of suits will also be required to build bases on the moon and Mars. They have not yet picked who will do the EVA. The EVA is obviously something we're gonna uh, put a lot of energy towards throughout training. Uh, and as we get experience through a number of different uh, you know, training situations that we have planned throughout the year, we'll uh, determine who the best crew members are to undertake the, uh, the EVA at that time. They'll also be testing Starlink laser-based communications. Objective two. We'll demonstrate the capabilities of Starlink, the new laser-based technology that will be crucial for communications on future lunar and Martian missions. And conduct scientific research to understand human health during future long-duration space flights. Objective three, and as mentioned before, we'll fly higher than any Dragon mission has ever flown and endeavor to reach the highest Earth orbit flown by any humans since the last Apollo mission some 50 years ago. Achieving this altitude is more than just breaking a record. Orbiting through portions of Van Allen radiation belt, Polaris Dawn will conduct research with the aim of better understanding the effects of spaceflight and space radiation on human health. And like Inspiration4, Polaris will be raising funds for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to help cure childhood cancer around the world. Depending on how the first mission goes, a second and third could also take place, possibly with Jared on board for those as well, all culminating in a crewed Starship mission to Earth orbit. There's an awful lot to learn. There's a lot to learn on, on Polaris program. That's why these are these are building blocks that will ultimately uh, arrive at the first crewed launch of Starship. And then there's an awful lot that the, you know, the army of 10,000 people and engineers here at SpaceX um, are going to learn as uh, they put the Starship through its its various uh, developmental paces. And I think those, you know, what we learn from both will ultimately inform the timeline for future missions. 
Jared is funding part of the program himself. However, despite the insistent pressing of the media during the phone call, not even a ballpark number was given. And obviously SpaceX is also funding these missions. The Polaris program is, is fully funded, and this is a you know contribution from both uh, SpaceX and myself towards the important goals we want to achieve with, with the Polaris program. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in, and shout out to those of you supporting the channel on Locals. Seriously, I hope you guys are as excited as I am to hear this news because this is gonna give us something to look forward to in the near future. It's gonna give us something to participate in and, and capture our imagination as we wait for those first crewed Starship missions. My apologies for interrupting myself here, but while I was editing this video, I received an email from the FAA. Now the agency is planning to release the final PEA, not at the end of this month, but on March 28th. So there you go. Leave it to the man to poop on our party. Do have a nominal work week, and until next time, Godspeed.